Hello and welcome everyone to the Volheim stream um, this evening. <laughs> uh, my name is Brian and uh, my cohort in crime tonight is Tom. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> and uh, we also have Carrie. Hey. And, and Megan helping out, making uh -oh. sure that uh, Tom and I don't get ourselves into too much trouble. We <laughs> there to enjoy the when we do. You need <laughs> to you encourage to get in more trouble. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, sure. Raid the village from the boat. Nothing bad could ever happen. <laughs> I mean, at least at this point, and uh, and also this evening, Charlie is this kind of they're on vacation so they're sort of vacationing and sort of here occasionally doing color commentary yes yep. <laughs> technically i'm just like in a lot of back pain and waiting yeah. for everything to make it go away so i might get really really goofy yeah <laughs> yeah that'll be very funny if that were to happen um yes so t so we have finally found the boss in the plains. Ooh, and I missed that. Yeah, that we, that was towards the end of the last Madcap adventure. We got our we got our gear back. We raided the village and got vengeance for our earlier demise. <laughs> and then we went off looking for local raiders. Hi, raiders. So, we're recapping last week's Madcap Adventure. Um, we finally found, it was funny because we found pr almost the boss by the time we finally found a building that had a tablet to tell us where the boss was uh. Uh, this particular time. And we were actually <clears throat> heading in the right direction, luckily, because uh, as I pull up the map and go to the global part of the map, as you can see, there's a lot of directions one could go, and yeah. we just happened to get lucky. And this was last week. Oh, this was where we wiped out. No, we wiped out right here at the Skull and Crossbones. We got our vengeance, and then we went down this river. And when we got to where that campsite is, that's where we found a tablet. And mm -hmm. It was basically up over this hill, if this isn't it. Or we were going to call it for this map and just call this map defunct because we hadn't, we'd gone through a lot of planes, yeah, trying to find, uh, trying to find them and, and trying to find a building because there's two different buildings that will have the tablet in it. And since they're randomly generated, apparently they randomly generated all those buildings way away. <laughs> Not hear anything. So we've finished sailing down, we landed, we pushed our way up the hill we built a an outpost by the sea i'm gonna have to listen to a kate bush song because you keep saying it. up the hill yeah <laughs> i'm doing that on purpose i am simply putting songs into people's heads today so we we played around with the uh we started taming some of the luxes because we thought it might be really funny if we bred a whole mess of luxes and then piled them up and then summoned yuggleth Yagluth, that's who it is. Yugluth. And uh, yeah, Yagluth, Yagluth, Yagluth. Yug, like the ugly sloth. Yeah. <laughs> Except for he's not sloth like at all. He's yeah, he's a, a demon headed skeleton, skeleton thing that fires hellfire onto us and brings death swiftly <laughs> to all who gaze upon him. He's how I know that the designers of this game listen to Merciful Fate. Yes. Because he's basically the creature behind the fire on the cover of Welcome to the Sabbath. Yeah, he is. <laughs> it's a lot like him. It's, it's really funny. And uh, I know every time I've seen him, I just hear King Diamond screeching in the back of my head. <laughs> For me, it's even worse because it's the song that he was on on the other one where the burn witch, oh. you know? In the fire! Yeah, in the fire. <laughs> you will burn! I'm like, oh gosh, yeah, we are burning. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I had a strategy where we 
might actually find him because the black metal hand weapon, so like swords and stuff like that, do hurt him. But he actually regenerates health unlike the other bosses. So you have to hurt mm-hmm. him a lot fast. And he piles a bunch of damage on. So you have so you can't do range. Range Hence doesn't the do the army of wolves. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 sometimes I fought him the bows didn't do anything. And hand to hand was on the way, but he would pretty much disintegrate me in fire <laughs> trying to fight him hand to hand. So you know that whole point of Final Fantasy VII where you're trying to stop the meteor from crashing, like he just summons Genova. Yeah. Like just, just whoosh. Yeah. And and also beams of like fiery death. It's just a lot of fiery death. And honestly, much. I just want to find the ruby weapons after this, and hopefully they put that into the game. Hopefully they're in the Mistlands. All right, developers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot that I titled our portal Yeah, because I didn't know what the I couldn't remember Yagaluth. So it's just Yeah. Yeah. Which kind of works really well, actually. I feel like your next yeah. one <laughs> I feel like the next one just needs to be called About That. I about that. Right yeah, side by side. About that. I wonder if there's any trees over by one. Um, yeah, so tonight we're we're gonna try to maybe tame some luxes, try to get some resources together, raid the village. You know, usual mischief being managed. This one does not. Right now, I'm looking for. for uh, I'm hoping maybe if I upgrade my shield, it might work against the Berserker. Because I would like to find a Berserker in hand-to-hand, demonstrating some some combat prowess and skill. <laughs> Sorry. But, Sorry, I didn't mean, <laughs> didn't mean to laugh, but I had to. Oh, I mean, right now, he just swings his mighty club, and I just get hit. There's like, there's no, I mean, I can run and dodge it. Y'all have seen me dodge it before, and doesn't really. I'm doing really dumb right now. I don't even know why I did that. Because you were in this I'm at 23 health. I'm not even waiting for the food to kick in. I'm like, look, it's cheese. Let me get chopped down. Let me bang on the trees and summon all of the monsters in the area. Yeah. Because it's not like they put a mechanism in where you start hitting on a tree and all the monsters in the area come at you like you just put a thumper in the desert on Arrakis. <laughs> hey, I don't have an axe. Tom, I think I got your hoe. You want your hoe back? <laughs> what if I told you about stealing other people's hoes? Hey, put them to work. You can steal the thought, but you gotta leave the hoes to their own devices. Yeah. This is very true. Aspect it's, wisdom. It's that or I go, Tom, stop trying to turn me into an accent on Pim. <laughs> oh, Brian. We all know you're an accidental pimp. Yeah. It just keeps happening. It just keeps happening. It does. <laughs> There's only so many times it can happen until it's just not an accident anymore. Yeah. Tom, do you happen to have two black metal axes on you? Apparently, we're still sorting our gear. From um, no, nope, I've only got one. Surprisingly. Okay. Do you have a hoe on you? No. There you go. There's a hoe. I gotta find. There's a black metal axe. Well, that'll do. So, Peanut had her dentist appointment today. No cavities. Oh, good. Good. (laughs) And I brushed her teeth this morning. And then when we got back from speech, as we had like a half an hour before Joe got home (laughs) to take her to the dentist. And 
really funny trying to teach her how to swish the water. <laughs> she still swallows it. Oh, and no. then she leans over the, the sink and goes, Bleh. <laughs> Get some of the motions down at least. Yeah. Well, she watched me do it because I brushed my teeth first. Because we're trying to get her to like learn the motions of actually doing it instead of us. Yeah. What, you're trying to teach your child independence? What kind of a modern mother are you? <laughs> so crazy. One that has to brace herself for tears pretty soon because the molars are the back molars are gonna come in soon. Oh. That that's gonna be painful. Oh crap. Oh watch out. That's, ah! that's that's really unfortunate. Oh, that's oh, you're gonna die. Got that okay. one at least. There's another one. Yeah, I'm trying to Oh, there's two more. more. Oh, good, 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 good. Ah! And whatever that oh, was. Oh, oh, God. Oh. oh, there's three. Yeah, there's three. Oh, no. <sighs> Which one are you in the planes? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm any help? <laughs> oh no! I'm dead. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> oh. Run! Oh, you died. Is, oh is, no! Uh, oh, <laughs> angry Lux, run, Tom! Don't yeah, Tom hide. There's tar slimes and There's angry Lux. Four tar slimes, and they the they surrounded me. I've never had them surround me like that before. Wow. They surrounded me, and then it, the Lux got angry. I mean, the Lux and the Tar Slimes will fight, and hopefully, you know, hopefully none of them will win. <laughs> always, all of them, or quite a few of them. I'm gonna try and make it run. Oh, there was also a uh, a fouling in the middle of that as well, because you know, why not? Because why not? Because <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Oh, you're at, you're at the oh, cool. You're feeding the Lux. Yeah. Cool. You're at the different one. I'm over here with this madness. Which one did you go to? I went to Plain South. I was trying to get some wood. Oh, okay. And I wanted to get some wood and see what's going on with everything. Hi, Spence. Hi, Spence. And I got surrounded by evil, angry... Looks like the Lux is winning. Nope, the Lux lost. I'm going to lure him into the other Lux. I have no health, so pretty much I'm a one hit down anyhow. Mm -hmm. So if I can get the Lux to fight it. Oh, jeez. Watch out. Hello. That is one angry, ah. angry bison. Lizard bison. <laughs> oh, no, the spikes can kill me. I am a very delicate... Okay, they're distracted. <laughs> Thought I heard some buzzing. And there's a treasure ship over here. Yeah, everything was trying to kill me. <laughs> like Charlie said, uh, well, when you start swinging an axe and start harvesting stuff, Ooh, look it at calls, all that loot. yeah, all that loot. Good, happy loot. Come on, Lux. Are you going to finish them off? Yeah. Let's start anything. Oh, good job. Oh, they're fat. Yeah, they are. And angry. I mean, I did shoot with a poison arrow. Here's a fun question. How do you tell when a, a lox is tamed? 
It won't and, play to eat you anymore. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it'll say to end. Is it still putting up hearts? It's not doing any hearts. That's what's like. Hmm. You can try to offer yourself as a sacrifice to find out. Just um, ready to run. Does it have. Did you put a little alert arrow? That's what I was about to say. Yeah. I mean, it definitely noticed me because it's got that little. Alert? Yeah. No, but as the alert, it's still aggressive. Oops. Okay. Shot low wide. Um, feed it. I did. Awesome. It's just ignoring the food if, and everything. It's just. If it has an alert up, you have to crouch, go in stealth mode until it doesn't know you're there. And then, then you'll be able to. Ooh. I heard a little And once you go stealth and the alert goes down, he'll, he'll, because the alert, he's panicked and he knows you're there. Mm. Once he calms down, he won't be panicked anymore. And then there he goes. Meat and skins. Lux trophy. Cool. Oh, I haven't seen one. I don't think I've seen a Lux trophy. <coughs> Let's look at it right here, right now, in the middle of all this. How big is it? <laughs> the yeah, classic real funny. question. Well, some of those trophies are really tiny. Rolling out. Yeah. That's going to be fun. That can go on a wall somewhere. About eyeball height. <laughs> Someone can run into it randomly. Oh, that's a pyramid. Uh huh. I blocked it with the sword. See, my plot timing is on point. That's why I'm hoping if I can upgrade the shield. I had the wrong shield, so maybe that was why it wasn't blocking him. Mm. It turned out I had a, I thought I had a black metal shield, but it was a silver shield. Ah, okay. Yeah, maybe why the berserker was able to swim through it, which was nothing. I think something's been going weird with the save files. Yeah. Wait. No, that's you true. are being hunted. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Thank you for saying something. Yeah, it's get out of there. Loose. Get out of there. Hurry. It's just like, woo, still good, still good. That is not the smartest place to go out. Oh, yeah. The wolves can't go up the stairs. The stairs confuse them. Yes, but that they can tear that entire structure down and drift pull you down onto them. Into them. Well, that's where I go. Okay. I have... Oh, shoot. You what? You what? Walk up and bang your head on a portal because you can't walk through. Yeah, yeah I can. <laughs> I go, uh, nope, these wolves. Hey, deckies. Gosh, you are so far behind. Like, we have already said hi to Spence. Yeah, I was busy dying. <laughs> That's no excuse. Like, this locks is just not doing hearts or anything. I don't know why I have resting sarcastic Lola voice lately, but I'm not finding it. <laughs> I don't use it, but it is pretty funny. I mean, like, gosh, guys. <laughs> it's not quite it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Burke, Megan. <laughs> the battle over the banner. <laughs> oh, oh, no, there's a battle banner? What? I'm missing something. 
<laughs> You're missing everything. It's fine. I missed it. <laughs> those my feet? <laughs> no. No, they're not. <laughs> it won't fit in the box, so I'm just uh, dropping it. <laughs> last year, I found at Once Upon a Child, Once Upon a Child, a Princess Anna costume. Ooh. And I think it's like a size six or a seven. So it's still too big for Anna. But I thought it would be really cute if she wore it tomorrow. So we're going to get like a bunch of pins and binder clips and stuff. <laughs> and like <laughs> pin up the skirt and make sure it, like it fits. Nice. And then she can wear it like over a long sleeve t shirt. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. My mom at once won a ball, and most of what was holding that fabric on was duct tape and staples. So, <laughs> trust me, honey, you can you can make it work if you give it enough effort. <laughs> but you haven't lived <laughs> until you're. <laughs> I have some safety your... pins to pin up the skirt because it's probably going to be too long. Although I don't know, she's so freaking tall. But <laughs> so the skirt, the length might be perfect. <laughs> Who knows? I'm just saying, you haven't quite lived until you've uh, had to staple your really nervous drag mom into a dress. <laughs> All right, the box is not tame yet. Okay. <laughs> and I'm now doing a naked Viking run. No, no. <laughs> you only got one hit on me. Oh. <laughs> so you're just waiting for the rest of your health to regenerate. Eh? <laughs> also, let's see if it was trapped, and apparently it's not. It's just. It was just kind chilling of... there. <laughs> It was in a happy spot. Now you have an Yeah, I think it has a happy spot. Because it can move from there when it's upset. <laughs> mm. So I have hung the lux head by the fireplace with care. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the laughter. Where is the little evil? Maybe it's pulling to in front of you, actually. Princess, don't it's your turn. Oops. The resin and stone down in there. Yeah. That's what I don't need. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay. Well, I know my accounts are all too small for a partnership, for a sponsorship. I wonder if they have a uh, affiliate program I could be a part of. I am rather enjoying this thing. For what of what? In an attempt to uh, stop us smoking, I got myself a fume, which mm -hmm. is basically a really cute wooden tube with a mouthpiece on it that lets you inhale flavor. That's all it is. It has no nice. electronics, no moving parts. Oh, nice. It's just... Basically, a metal tube with a flavor cartridge that you put into it. And this, what do they call it? I think it's just cooling mint. Mm -hmm. It's basically a little thing of menthol, which honestly is one of my favorite parts of the process. <laughs>
but like I feel like I'm going to be holding it a lot because one, it's shaped just right and weighted just right that it feels like you're holding a really Ooh. nice scar. There he is. It's all over the mosquitoes. Two mosquitoes. Now, the nice thing is, Tom, if we want, we can actually take the portal, get up the hill. I was just going to sneak up around and there's some berries over on the angry, or well, on the luxes, hopefully not angry. Yeah. I just wanted to give you a heads up in case I come running back down the hill. Okay, because, yeah, it's like I've already tossed some to the uh, lux in there. And yeah, the ones. Boring it. It's just the, nice is the ones that are in range of the workbench will stay. They won't disappear um, or despawn. But it, I just mean it's refusing to domesticate. Sometimes they get bitchy. Yeah, they get stuck. They get angry. They just, you know, they're luxes. They have attitude. It's like that two star wolf. I had to basically be in a constant state of building a stone fortification around it because it would not stay in the pit and it was just eating through the stone it was definitely eating through the stone faster than i could repair it see there are hearts coming up off that one i'm gonna i'm picking some more cloud berries to go okay Looks like some of the ones we threw down here randomly are still working as well. I think my sneak's up to a nine. I'll throw another little stash out. And make sure that there are little stashes because once you get away from a workbench, the rate at which stuff despawns increases dramatically. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes you have to be close to get them to do the little hearts thing. Uh -oh. Spence Come has redeemed a pep talk Woo. in like a minute after she gets her cardigan. Yeah. Okay, okay. Brian, you're pep talking. Oh, you're caught. Run. Oh, no, you're going to be Run. <laughs> Come away. That, that is hard to to pull up, by the way. <laughs> uh, the tumble, yeah, it's cool looking. Like just then, it'll be fun to see a clip of that later. Because you've got a guy running your butt. Hey, oh, you know, I should, yeah. I'm gonna get a third one. You do realize that you're gonna have to give a pep talk in a minute. Yeah. No, don't break it. You need to get your best uh, Ted Lasso on. Go in sneak mode. Oh, thank you. They're going to start busting up our rock. I believe. In the <laughs> oh, look, it's like, oh, but there's some berries here. Let me eat that. Yeah. <laughs> eat that and come on down. And now it's like, it's, it is circling around like a dog. I'm just... Yeah, that was kind of the hope is it would get distracted by the berries and forget about us, which is why I ran over here because I was like, oh, do you have any berries left, Tom? I, I throw all mine out. I got a stash of eight left. Mm -hmm. Mind if I chuck them out real quick? Yeah, do you want them or should I toss them? Um, Whichever. Depends on how good you feel your aim is. I was going to try to get the one over behind me. Yeah, that's what I was figuring. Yeah. The other one's still angry and circling, but he's got berries underneath of him. Oh, Ran away. Oh, little hearts. He calmed down some, and he's eating the berries. And mm. that's the case, let me toss also this other set in a different yeah. angle. Okay, Spence is back. Welcome She's back. Ready for the pep talk. The ultimate pep talk by Bright. How is it alert and giving hearts? Interesting. Well, at least it's not an exclamation point. I, yeah, I was about to do the pep talk. I was waiting for Tom. Uh, I believe in you. You're awesome. And 
Gosh darn it, you deserve it. That's not a pep talk. I'm really a pep talk kind of person. <laughs> Most of my pep talks consist of "You can do it." I mean, yes, but that's different. That's the prolonged pep talk. Yes, that's what she uh, paid for. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not Ted Lasso. I'm not Ted Lasso. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Because, um, like, my pep talk is very simple. Like, life can be very cruel. But that's why God created electrodes, <laughs> electrodes and cannabis, which is proof that we live in a very good world. Why does this Lux not care about you when he's still trying to kill me? <laughs> I'm like, look, I'll run under the Lux. See, sometimes life can just give you You're a just Lux. Like, Help. <laughs> It's tamed 28 percent tamed. Yeah, and it's hungry and it's stuck. I I know how to unstuck it, but and then <laughs> why don't you just work. try to put some berries in front of it? I'm gonna do a dumb. I'm gonna do a. Oh dumb. no, not dumb. I mean, here you go. This is even better than a pet pod. Brian Spence says that, that was dumb. worth the five thousand points. Oh no, it's free. Run away. <laughs> Oh man. So Tom, you did successfully capture a Lux. <laughs> I thought it was only twenty eight percent tame. Yeah, it's only twenty eight percent tame. Uh you, you captured him in the pit. He got stuck. He's coming for you. Oh Watch thank out. you. <laughs> he's not that tame. Oh no, he's angry. Angry Spence angry. is just the unsurprised disappointment in Charlie's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Behind you, he's still just. There. Okay. Crouch back right down. Come back over. Throw some berries at him. <coughs> hey, buddy, I got all the berries back. Let's split these stacks. Stacks on stacks. You might want to stealth back down. Oh, thank you. Yeah, for some reason, when you toss them half the time, you unstealth. Like, that's what happened to me. Well, you know, when you're tossing your berries. Sven says, my bullet journal is supposed to be my plan of attack for my 2023 projects, but the bullet journal needs a plan of attack. LOL. <laughs> Well, one of the that. other, one of the other Loxes is getting hearts. Yay! There, I'm gonna try to put some. Oh, hey, we got a good bit of distance. Okay. I'm gonna walk the plank. Yeah, give it a moment. Watch it fall apart. <laughs> Are we just gonna start like? testing them and bringing them back over to here and run up. I think so. Spence, so I'm kind of thinking. I don't know if there's, I haven't found a whole lot in terms of specifically for authors, mm -hmm. but there are 70 shibillion bullet journal videos on YouTube. <laughs> I'm sure you could find something. Yeah. Didn't Heartbreathings used to do bullet journal for author videos? She, I don't think she's done one in a while. Because I follow her. Well, I thought she used to. It's the only channel I can think of that was that, that it's specifically for writers. Yeah, her... 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't think she's done that for a while. Spence says, it's not just the writing one, it's the everything, LOL. Mm. What was that thumping? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> So careful when you come over here because I've been uh, putting down stacks. Okay. No, I'm just looking for a new, make it look, getting some more berries. Oh, I think I got spotted. Nope, not spotted yet. Okay. Or should we just go back and bring them? Was it they like wheat or? Yeah, the I was going to save that for uh, breeding. Okay. Spence says, I have 10 categories, more or less, that I need to be able to track and plan for, slash about, slash not forget exists. That's a lot. Are you doing this all in one book, or do you, or do you have a separate one for writing? <clears throat> Because I have to separate stuff. See, this is where I recommend Notion because ah, there's a love coming. Here. Here. <laughs> here. Where is stuff is good now? Okay, we're going now. <laughs> and nobody won the the prediction. I was hidden. It was a tree. Oh no! Yes, oh, mosquito. <laughs> Spence is all in one, but my binder, so it's effectively the same and different. Okay. Oh, yeah. You were using a binder. Okay. I've thought about trying to set up a bullet journal on the Remarkable because it actually has a lot of the spreads in there as templates. Mm-hmm. Nice. But here comes a fulling. I don't know that I would use it even then. So okay. one star. Ooh, fiery one. Let me get out of here because I do not have enough life. Ooh, retreated. I have a shield in two minutes on my health. Yeah, I can see that. There. <laughs> if they're in different books, they might as well not exist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got some more berries. Yay! Okay, let's go put the berries up in the box. We're going to let them be for now. I think we need to go up and let's go mess with the other... The, the Death other Valley? Village, the other village. <laughs> ah, stupid mist. Because we can put the berries in the box. Okay, come here. We'll take the stone with us. We don't need to leave the stone here. I think I can go toe to toe. I'm going to try going toe to toe with the berserker. I'll come watch this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm setting up a new prediction. Ryan cannot, in fact, go toe to toe with the berserker. <laughs> oh, so. very fast running. Oh, I have cloud berries on me. Oops. Oh well, maybe we'll run into a lux. Okay. okay so that's over here, Tom. So here's the Remember? challenge for you, Brian. Okay. You're going to engage hand to hand. You are not allowed to leave hand to hand. You are going to fight it or die. Kill it or die. Oh. <laughs> um, says, I believe in you, Brian. You can go toe to toe with a berserker. That's... And Spence says, You might not win, but you can do it. <laughs> so as we are getting ready for this, I'm gonna set do you know where one is already? Uh, those, well, yes, there's a brand new village near here. 
but first I need to I need to go back and get my health back up. Okay, I'm setting a two minute period for people to make their predictions. <laughs> Lock your predictions in. Lock your predictions in. Folks. Yeah, it's too bad opening another tab will trip up my sound delay. <laughs> my prediction you know what your phone is, is for? I don't know. I had a prediction and then I forgot it. I forgot what we were predicting. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I think is Ryan will be able to go toe to toe but will not survive. The, there will be a naked Viking run at least once. So you're voting <laughs> no. Now, do I have to go toe to toe if a bunch of other stuff aggro's in? Yes. Because this is this is me going toe to toe with the village. There's a little bit of a difference between that and. You said you were badass. <laughs> we're, we're waiting to see how badass you are. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could see facial expressions right now. <laughs> right. They're a little priceless. <laughs> I mean, people are spending their points. I mean, you're going to have to. There it is. Oh, where's my rest of bonus? There we go. Comfort five. Time to heal up and get rested. <laughs> Right now, people surprisingly have no faith in you. <laughs> well, I did kind of start off with going, oh, they've got me pinned down. Oh, I'm dead. So, you know. Like, the odds are definitely not in your favor. I mean, I, I didn't even succeed going toe-to-toe -to -toe with three tar slimes, two luxes, and a fouling. <clears throat> what are we shooting at? Oh, hey, we got a target already. A berserker. Thank you, Tom. I already took out the fullings that aggroed with them. Yeah. All right, Dick, we are now locked. We're and locked I am in. ready to tell you the outcome. <laughs> we locked the outcome in. Toe to toe, Brian. I'm not allowed to. Hey, that's cheating. That's not cheating. Uh, I'm going toe to toe with the berserker. Yeah, come on, buddy. Yeah, I'm not going to sit there a few minutes. That's done. Why didn't we in-game ban buffs? <laughs> right? There for a reason! Get the berserker! Show it who's boss! <laughs> the blocks are working. I didn't need the buff. I wasted it. Oh, oh man. The block's working! <sighs> Yay! I and the answer them. was no. <laughs> Did you, do you remember which way the village is, Tom? It's I, to your left. Go past me and it's in front of you. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go charge into the village now. I'm feeling stupid. This is going to get me killed. But <laughs> hey, look. Hey, we, we didn't feed this Lux, did we? Nope. No. Oh, what the heck. I'm having fun. Uh, yeah, I'd say that Lux does not like you. Yeah, just, you know. And a full league. Ah. Oh, two Desquitos. Yikes. Oh, man. And two fullings. <laughs> Oh, he's dead. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> oh, you're a stabby stop. guy. <laughs> it's a stabby guy. I'm cheating. I like the uh, technical terms for them. <laughs> yeah, that one. I have oh, banned. shields are banned. I Ooh. just banned shields oh, for the next five question. minutes. Because I felt like cheating. Oh, I got knocked way back. It entertains me. Ah! Lux is down. Mosquitoes next. Come on, buddy. You know you want this. Come eat the sword. 
Yeah. Yum yum. Okay, village. Is the timer <laughs> set? Yep. Yeah, because I only have two minutes of my other buff. That's why they're. That's, that's why, why I did a five minute ban on shields. Hey, I can do that. <laughs> And for everybody watching who's not currently a subscriber to the channel, I have snoozed to the next ad, ad break, so you will have time to find out if Brian will die from the lack of shield. Shaman! Okay. Mm -hmm. Missed me! Shaman dead. It's amazing how truly, if I just fire an arrow or two over here to the village, I will aggro. Oh, one star. Three. They all are one starred. I know, and Brian can't use a shield. It's great. Yeah, it gets me staggered like that. <clears throat> It's low key wonderful. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I pulled that one off. <laughs> shooty, shooty. Oh, Brian, this is no fun. It's like gremlins in a blunder. Come on, you, just, like, you can man, aggro man, more. Fun. You can aggro more. There's no more here, except for the spear guys in the tower and Tom's random shots at me. <laughs> <laughs> What a coincidence where it lands. Yeah. Like, you know, there's guys in the tower, Tom. You can get them. Not from here. It's all fog. That's true. Oh, hey. Here's one. A little bit lower. He's like, if I can get line of sight, I could shoot you. You know, you're, you're doing all this hand to hand, so technically you've lost. They're in the tower. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. You know, we can't rebuild that. Yeah, you told me I had to go hand to hand. I got to bring him down to me. We can climb up to him, you idiot. Oh, I'll just take it down. <laughs> and after wasting the structure in an attempt to upset me, all you've done is have to climb the tower anyway. That's karma, bitches. <laughs> the towers could not go. Yeah, there's stuff at the top. Back man. I made a very sharp sword. I need to watch the timer very carefully and ban food. <laughs> oh, that would be mean. I know. It would be ever so happy. I mean, it's been a while since you've had a real challenge. Like, real challenge. You've just been like. Like, there, see, I'm carrying too much. It's a real challenge. Wow. There's four different chests here. I want to dive wish, off the top. <laughs> I kind of wish those. Colors. I'll turn this into a diving board. I'll dive off that. Whee! <laughs> yeah. Ouch. It's chunk of damage. Just hurt my knees watching it. I know, right? Chunk damage is no joke. Oh, you got the other stack? Yep. So is it all looted? Do you have any yep. wood on you to put down or benches. I got one piece of wood on me. <laughs> oh, Tom. That's a little personal. <laughs> I can use my shield. 
Okay, so I can do this. You can now use shields again. That's important. Fine. <laughs> Good because I hear the laughing. Oh, there he is. Come here, yeah. I just kind of hope that a couple of them, like torch bearing ones, come out there and just melt you to the ground. You just like all the relishing, don't you? <laughs> because like, I got want your face to melt. Well, I mean, it's only fair. I mean, you, you, fair? you've caused Tom's death how many times? <laughs> hey, come on out, Tom. It's safe. <laughs> it oh, why are you dead? <laughs> chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. I never set Tom up for death. Uh huh. It has happened on, a, on occasion. Uh huh. <laughs> Okay. I do want to apologize to everyone. I'm pretty sure the stench of bullshit is so strong that it's going <laughs> through the internet and coming out in y'all's eyes. Are you trying to say that smell isn't the Lux? No, that's not the Lux. That's all of the sweet, sweet lies that you're telling I'll be right back. Okay. Oh. What was that? A whole team of fullings are coming to kill me. And they Ooh. almost did. Oh, no. Run. I'm trying. Going after the wrong person. I'm supposed to be going after Brian. Oh, they know I'm busy. Oh, I see them over there. Tom. They got me. Stupid death mosquito joined in. Yeah. You're such a good team player, Brian. I got my bow out. I watched the death. Doesn't that count? No. Witness me. I mean, I watched you die. Doesn't that count as team play? I shot one of them. After you died. Oh, there they are. They're trying to mess with my workbenches. For some reason, they don't like what we did. I can't imagine. That's why I put them in such weird, difficult to get to places. So look, a shield would help. <laughs> One of my friends has shared a um, cartoon of R2-D2 doing his Ancestry.com DNA thing. 23% toaster, 18% cam camcorder, 26% trash can, 4% hubcap, 3% laser pointer, 12% dirt cell battery. <laughs> They forget about the sense machine. He's obviously for a tense machine. Um, I'm going on here to see where that death mosquito is. Mm. There he is. Which, um, what's the name of the portal? Two Wolf. That, one? that one's Wolf. Okay. Two, two Wolf. Two Star Wolf or Two Wolf Two or something like that. Okay. That's so helpful. You told him like the name of like five, ten different things it could be. I did. I already knew what it was. I mean, it has words in it. Like, yeah. we give it a name. Yeah. Is that a novel? Yeah. So much carnage everywhere. You'd think somebody was on a rampage. Oh, that couldn't possibly be you. <laughs> Have sharp sword, will stab. Did I remember? Oh, uh, no, I don't have ten wood. Ugh, okay. I might. Oh, yay. As soon as I get my 
put a chest in or no, you want to ha I can hang out and here. I'll stand up here safely and watch you. I got six wood on me. That's right. I'm going to go back and empty out my inventory and I'll be back with wood. Okay. Because we're going to want to make sure that that village is covered and safe. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome. I have dinner, which is pasta. Yay, pasta. We had a really, really good pasta last night that I want to do so many more times. It was like, what was it? Soy and goji jang. And yeah. Say sherry vinegar. Yeah. It was it's so like. Sweet and warming and nice. Had some ground pork in it. Yeah. Just kind of gave you a tender, sweet hug and said, You did okay. I like you. <laughs> so. And though I am not Korean, Gojujang is my happy place. Because when I was having a lot of trouble at home when I was a kid, I spent a lot of time at a Korean friend of mine's house and developed all of the happy memories towards kimchi and everything with gochujang in it. There you go, Tom. There's a box for the black metal now. Okay. Then we keep just tossing it over the side and around and stuff. Why is it? Oh, I just had a moment and I went back right back through the portal. Oh. Pushed the wrong way. Oh, let's peek over this hill. Hopefully it's not car. I mean a tarp that would be fitting, wouldn't it? I mean it seems about normal now. <laughs> I just want to make sure that there's not any cars that can aggro and fight. Hello, asshole. Fooling. <laughs> I mean, we'll still have wandering patrols of that, but. Woo! And Dusky knows. Because I wasn't going to go through and fully. Well. Let's just say I was going to dump a whole bunch of luxes and call that the workbench protection circuit. I said fooling, didn't I? Yeah. I meant to say lux. Sorry. <laughs> I misspoke. Okay, up in them bar hills. Let's see if they have any walls up there. In love again, non binary mountain. Yep. <laughs> them bar hills. You know me, I've always wanted to live in them bar hills, particularly in a cave. Oh, no. oh. We're going to stand Hermes, like, should I start getting some fine wood, or will this be how I die? <laughs> I think the answer is yes to all of the above. 
Because you can never have too much fun. But, but also, yes, this is probably the way you die. Oh, uh, Stone Golem. Ooh, I can fight a Stone Golem. He wants me to make him have to fight it hand to hand up close with no retreats. Me. Just because I know it to be virtually impossible, I kind of want to ban bows right now. <laughs> I have once killed a drake with the sword. Or twice. They very really get low enough. It's not easy at all. I will laugh if he knocks you off the mountain. Stamina. Ha! That is not actually not easy. <laughs> I got my timing back. <laughs> then says Brian, what did you do to Charlie today? I feel like you need to apologize to them for something. <laughs> Do you want me to all over? <laughs> been a rough day. Oh no, I yeah, it's a lot of pain. Been in a lot of pain today, and through his problem of just wanting to chat with everyone ad nauseum, made me have to stay standing for about 15, 20 minutes longer than I needed to. Because all I had to do was answer one simple question. He answered it. He was very talkative. Uh, I heard mostly your voice. <laughs> but, uh, that's possible. I mean, how much fine wood do we need? Oh. I think you were still... A bunch. I... The one upgrade took 20 wood, 20 fine wood. Okay. I think you were still... We need at least probably two stacks. Yeah. I think you were still in restaurant mode. Uh, probably. I didn't even realize. Um, it took quite some time for me to get your attention. Oh, it's all. It's a whiteout. Yeah. But long story short, it's been a severe pain day. I would say for most of the day, my back pain's been bouncing back and forth between an eight and a ten. That's no fun. No. Well, I feel like that's how you know you're that really was me alive. Over Christmas. Like, that's how you really know that you're alive, though, when your back hurts so bad that you just cry for relief. Like, it doesn't help, but, like, what else are you going to do? Yeah. Again, see me at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no booze. Or Brian. Oh. And, and it got, it was so bad because of the sub zero temps. I did oh, that, start crying. See that, in that's, front of his whole family. Oh that's, man, that's kind of where we're at now because it's been in like the seventies, and then it was in the forties today. It's going to be in the twenties tonight. Yeah. Damn. Eek. And yeah, that's no bueno. <laughs> Like when the knot decided to twist up on my shoulders for like a quick minute 
I thought I was having a heart attack. Because, mm. and then I realized my, why is my arm jerking around like crazy? I was like, oh, all the muscles decided to get tight and I'm flopping around like a marionette. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's turning into something that's making me even more nervous. And I'd probably be in a better mood than I am right now, except for we're having internet issues and the guy was out to fix it today. And so, time to go sit quietly in the house for a period of time. Spence says, I banned bows. Yeah. Yep, those have been banned. There's three uh, three minutes. I almost said three hours. <laughs> we got to put like a really hefty one on for that. Oh, um, for the next hour, there is no ball. <laughs> Ooh, no. <laughs> right, not even for like a hundred thousand channel points. This is also a long spine of mountains. I wish we could play copyrighted music on Twitch. Because just as you started up the mountain in the snow, History in Black by Priest started playing. And you don't realize that you're dancing to the song, but you are <laughs> like you're moving your camera. It's perfect. Like you're moving your camera to the song. Like you, you don't know that you're doing. It's like it's about a spear on. No Why are these loxes just staking out the trees? That's what they do. <laughs> Two minutes and 11 seconds of bowless combat versus drinks. <laughs> Steal your egg for that. There, I'll take your egg. Now I'll get all mad. I like them apples, huh? Okay, Megan. Still <laughs> I got an egg. I'm on a run. You know, that would be so funny if they did a deal with uh, Don't the start start people and you stole a wyvern egg and an iberg like spawned out of a nest. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> that would be hilarious. Come on. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, I took half its life. And then it shot me and took all my stamina. I do not want to be inside a lox. One and a half minutes left of no bow combat versus drinks. Back here. Oh, <laughs> oh wait. That's the wrong side. Oh, no. That was the wrong side, too. <laughs> <laughs> This is more compelling than I thought it would be. Oh, <laughs> close. I feel like I need to finish the job because I've wounded both of them. Did. Did that Deskito kill itself by missing me and running into a rock? Nope. There you are. <laughs> it just hit on the other side. Oh, that would be great. Like, did it just have a drive? Like, did it just have an accidental drive? -in? Dear developers, can can we add accidental damage to the creatures? Because that would be hilarious to have. Like, and, be... like it doesn't even have to kill them. Just like it hits the stone and gets its uh, beak stuck in it for a minute. And just sits there, like trying to pull itself back out. I mean, that would be some fun. Permissible. Adding strategy to it. Can you can you dodge and get it stuck?
No healing next. <laughs> Says Spence. Spence says, I even waited until the timer went off. <laughs> I guess what Spence is doing is no additional food. Oh. Make you a little drink. I would just like to say for anybody who wants to enjoy what I'm enjoying right now with Brian under siege like this, I have a Santa Muerta by Twin Temples playing in my head. And mm -hmm. yes. Well, I got 70 wood. I'm 75 wood. You know, you can use clothes again. You just can't I know, but I started this thing. I'm going to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I've hit both of them for half their health. That's using know. neurodivergence against somebody. <laughs> I'm not even close. Speaking of which, have any of you seen the latest episode of The Great North? No, I didn't know there was no. one out. Uh, it's good. <laughs> Oh, what's his name? The the oh, right. yeah, there's a new one. I've the little kid in the bear suit. What's his What's his name? Oh, that's not fair. One pushed the other one away. What is that? Um... Anyway, I can't think of the kid's name, but the kid learns about OCD. Got him! Yay! <laughs> one down. One more alluring close. I'm riding. Oh my God! On the you're oh, on, yes. oh, oh, not far enough. Dude. It would, yeah, it almost flew me to my death. That would have been great. <laughs> that would have been, that would have been amazing. Dude, okay, we got to make sure we get a clip of that. Okay, we that, to, is, uh, like, that is, that wow. is yeah. I didn't even know. I, I feel like, like I need great. to add a uh, command in-game action because I want to like make it where you have to go drink surfing now. <laughs> yeah, like that's a whole thing. That that is wow. That's epic. Oh, I heard a wolf. Wolf. No Kill stars. Killed a wolf. Hey, the blizzard song. Come on, Drake. I stole your egg. Come back closer. I'm not gonna sing it. I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> what did you have? Nice for what? Start going through your head too. What? I said, did you have nice for what? Start going through your head too. No, I had killed a rabbit. Down here and get me. Got him. Woo. <laughs> Woo. There we go. And I finished what I started. Okay. The wolves. <clears throat> My mighty sharp sword. Oh no, where are you at? Look at there you are. Yeah. Na, 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 na. There's a lot of loxes over on the other side. Just a bit outside. Oh my. There we go. What? <laughs> you. There we 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Ooh, one. another dragon man. Mm-hmm. Can't steal it. Come over and come bird. Oh, man. Make me a jerk and throw this one down the hill and then steal it. <laughs> This is a random dragon egg down the hill. Oh, yay, yay. <laughs> There's a cave in them bar hills. I can hear Anna down the hall singing, One Bill Snowman. <laughs> oh, I oh, got too much stuff. I'll ditch that one. I want the trick head. Uh, 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 One game I had set up a Drake Trophy, a Wraith Trophy, what here, Wolf? A Wraith Trophy, a Drake Trophy, and um, one of the Werewolf Trophies to look like a mysterious, cloaked, evil headed, demon headed creature with an evil claw arm reaching out. Yes, you did. It was really cool looking. That was kind of cool looking. There's another Drake's nest over there. Where's that wolf that I heard? Have you figured out what you're going to do if you catch a wolf? Nope. I didn't have a portal anywhere nearby. I wandered off. There is a here. I'm... Oh. oh, it almost dropped on your head. <laughs> oh, lots of them. Oh, yeah, they come in packs. That's why the first thing I pulled was shield. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm going to need to use that to maneuver them around. But if there's a pack right there, that means this might be good wolf hunting ground. Which means I should set up a wolf trap. That would be a good spot as any for a wolf trap. I just can't wait for the fin- for the uh, oh, not... finnering wings to come get you tonight. That's the werewolf I feel like thing. An entire batch of gray dwarves were killed by this lox party. <laughs> there's so much stone and bits of wood. Angry lox, man, they'll do it. Is everything all right, Gary? Yeah, I need a new headset. The the. <laughs> You don't want to stand my head anymore. <laughs> That's what Brian stole the headband that Glory made for. Yeah. And then he lost it again. I think it's somewhere inside the Chewbacca blanket again, personally. That's where it was last time. Probably. <laughs> I wonder if this is deep enough. I hope it's deep enough. It's deep enough at least I can run back out of it if I fall in with the two-star wolf. This has happened. So I came up with a brilliant design for in the wilderness trapping a two star wolf. I'm trying to organize all my bullet journal stuff, and every time I put my head down, my headset falls off my face. Ah, <laughs> yeah. 
Ooh, mm-hmm. I think this Lox is tamed. Ooh. Ooh. Got a green life bar or whatever. Yes. Nice. Excellent. Now we just need one more. And then all of the foods. Yeah. One more and then I can get to breathing. Yep. What should I name it? Let's name him. Uh, there's not a firm to name him Death to All But Metal. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, ah, like all Christians in Valheim are <clears throat> ultimate non binary heroes because <laughs> they're all boys and they're all girls. So, like, I think it should be something like bookcase. Peanut <laughs> hamper. <laughs> or rainbow. Even peanut hamper. Yes, peanut hamper. Oh, I love God. peanut hamper. I, think it's name peanut I really hamper. like the episode where peanut hamper takes over the uh, primitive world that isn't so primitive. Yeah. Oh, peanut hamper. What are you doing? I'm making the ultimate wolf trap. I do not concur, but okay. This is for capturing a two-star wolf, and it's not going to be easy, but... I mean, no, it's not. It never is. Two-star wolf, after all. Needs to be a little bit longer. So, we eat some berries. Come down and eat some more berries. <laughs> I gladly would, but Brian selfishly sold all of those wonderful blueberries to customers. Oh. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh no, he had like, I don't know how we lucked out on that batch of blueberries, but they were the blueiest blueberries that have ever been buried in the history. They were history. amazing. Ooh, yeah. like they were incredible. But they were like super blueberry. Like that was just like all of the fruits that you got in that batch were really good. Like you haven't found an edible honeydew. I thought that was awesome. That's right. Give me your hearts. I also discovered that I like dragon fruit, which I did not know before. Hmm. I mean, you can always try growing that around you. Uh-huh. No point well, that worked. I got a wolf in the trap. Probably a new star because he's going up to fall. Okay, away. if you caught a two star wolf that easily, I would like. Go out. <laughs> it's the perfect trap. Look, <laughs> it already caught a wolf. It's a, but I gotta go kill him and get him out of there because. Actually, I would. Oh, too late. I'm sorry, but that would have been smart to leave him in, wouldn't it? Yeah, because he would howl, meat? which would call more wolves in. I didn't have meat to feed him. Jeez. No, nope. you didn't want to uh, feed him. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Okay, can you listen to the words going out my mouth? If you would have left him in there, he would start howling. Yeah. That would then start calling in all of the other wolves in the area. Yeah. Like he would basically be fate. fate calling more wolves into the trap. Oh, Lord, the dog farted. Um... Tom, I was wondering if you could run the material I'm for sorry. Uh, Portal. <laughs> okay. Spence says, uh, Blue Foods make me think of this now, and she posted a YouTube video to go with it. Basically, we need the stuff. Uh, you can name it uh, wolf three, I guess. 
Oh no. And uh, I've seen this. So make a new portal here as well as Yeah. Yeah, you'll need to make a new portal and then run the materials out to make a make one out here in the the okay. wilderness. Because I just realized I don't have any meat to uh, even lure or attempt. <laughs> Even if I capture a wolf, I guess it's good I got to find wood. Boy, I was supposed to not kill that one. Oh, Ooh, one, one star. star. Shoot. Just get him in the trap. Run. I died. Oh, you died. I think there's no. a two star in there. Or my food all wore off. One of the two. Okay. Now Tom, I need you to run a portal out there so I can get my stuff. <laughs> now tell me again exactly how perfect your trap is. Well, the trap was it's perfect. so perfect. None of the wolves got in it and you died. Yeah, I was just fighting a drink in the middle of it. I didn't do that one at all. <laughs> How about this? I'll go check on the uh, Lexus. We'll never see a naked Viking. And I need 10 regular wood now so I can go make a uh, workbench. Oh, here I can grab some wood. Um, bring it back up. So it's going to bring up two stacks anyhow, just because we're going to want to. You're going to want to probably put. There you go. Stuff or things. On, uh, this chest here. All right. Where did you die? Okay. Um, way up in the mountains. Uh, okay, so pulling up the map. Mm -hmm. uh, Swinging way out and going way south. Okay, so where we. I've got some. Let me go through and mark where. Uh, I don't know whether two wolf or. Well, let's go through two wolf first. I'm not sure which one's closer. Probably two wolf. Okay. Okay. And where so are you? Is, Where's your body? I have oh, I hit the wrong button and step back through the portal. <laughs> uh, what is that little thing you use, Charlie? Yeah, what is that? Mark on the map. Okay, on the map itself, I marked where. That, that's the 2020 snacking. You, know? you see that little campfire? South. <laughs> I'm south of this all up. The campfire one? <laughs> e I think so. There's a just grieve over There's an unlabeled campfire and there's campfire one. Right here. Oh. There, I pinged it. Okay. I don't be careful I'm gonna fall off and die. He broke the cardinal rule. He didn't bring a portal with him. Yeah, and I wandered way down the mountain range. And if it's a night, don't go. No, it's daytime again. Okay. Well, while you're waiting on him to do that, you can f fix my back thing. Okay, that's fair. I'm going to step back through. 
I can also uh, feed the Luxes and do that bit too. Oh, are there cloudberries over here? I can grab some from the. Did you need me to ping it again? Sure, let me. There, I pinged it. Make sure I got it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It marked pretty well. Oh, you're getting attacked. Yeah. Probably a dusky, though. Yep. I'm learning hey. how to smack him in midair. Yeah. I think it was turning to come get me. Luckily, I stepped back through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on account of, like, not armored at all. Okay. Good lord. I will be right back. <clears throat> wow, was not joking about wandering really far. <laughs> yeah. Far is a good way to describe it. Princess, stop it. I don't want to pet you anymore. Okay. But I need to be petted more. She was barking just a second ago, and now she's acting like, oh, I just want all the pets in the world. I'm back. Cloudberries. The San Francisco oh. tree. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh, I could eat that. That would be gross. <laughs> Megan will get after me for that. <laughs> she would like, Did you eat more poop berries? Be like, yeah, I'm barfing all over the place. <laughs> I, mean, I really feel like that animation for Buko Berries is truly prodigious levels. <laughs> so what happened was, and I have no proof of this at all. This is just me brainstorming. They had a, we just got a horse and are celebrating not doing our jobs party with a bunch of Jägermeister. And somebody got a snap of one of the other people on the dev team doing that exact thing because of too much Jaeger. And they went, you know what would be a really fun thing to put in the game? That. Because it just really feels like a... Oh, watch out behind you. Wow, that's a lot of Jaeger stomach explosion. Yeah. Oh. Bad wolfies. I'm as bad as messing with uh, I'm doing such a dumb. Are you doing such a dumb? Oh, I am. I'm running out into the plains without any clothing. Why are uh, you doing that? Because I want to sneak up on the on the Luxes. Make them happy yeah. and feed them. I'm sorry, uh, I feel like we're about to get a dead Brian, so I switched the camera over. <laughs> like he just um, basically just announced the because <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna start with the, the subtle sound of and then it's gonna it's gonna be me going ah. I'm dead. See, I'm so stealthy. The nice thing is I'm more agile now. I think that one's tamed. Let's find out. There's one that's tamed, there's two that's not. No, not tame. Did not spot me yet. <laughs> no. He's on top of me. <laughs> Did not spot me. Oh gosh, I'm continuing to do the dumb. Wait, he's green and they're red. He's got to be tame. Yeah, the green one's tame. 
Got two tame ones. Cool. Uh, There's your body. Uh, Where should I put the portal? I put the prediction oh, back up. Will Brian um, be killed by, somewhere nearby, the Lux? Really close nearby because I've got to. Because while he thinks all of these are tame, you know, he's going to stumble upon like one that's not. Like that one over there. Oh, that one that keeps getting closer? Yeah. He keeps hearing something, but he doesn't know what. Okay, I gotta run down and get my body. Body, body. All right, give me one Maybe second. I'll have it. <laughs> I'm not calling off the prediction yet. You're not out of there. No, oh, no, I can still totally die by a death mosquito. <laughs> All right. I could still die. We'll just pick up and eat me before I get from the portal to my grave. Heck, I could freeze to death before I get to my grave if, if Tom left too much of a distance. I mean, there's lots of ways I could still die. All right, it's connected. Minute. Sweet. It'll be in front of you. I am coming through right now. Are there any wolves in the pit? Nope. Did they tear up the bench? They, I guess so. I had to make a bench. Yeah, you had to make a bench. Yeah. Look, I'm freezing. I'm not carrying too much. So far, the only wolves I've seen were no starred. Yeah, that was a nighttime wolf. Uh, that's really fun where you put the portal, but that's not going to work. Well, you I said you needed it close because you didn't want to freeze yeah. it. Yeah. No, that was, no, that, that still works. Um, I say we can move it. Yeah, I gotta. We can move it on top of that little hill up top here. Yeah, I was gonna actually dig this out real quick and make the sharp sides, and then put it on the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. There is a stone golem not far away. Thankfully, it's yeah. a drake. Yeah, there's a stone golem, lots of drakes because the egg nests. Oh, no, I just mean, like, right now, they're, I'm watching the Drake and the Stone Golem fight each other. Oh, the Golem's up? <laughs> yep. Okay. okay it's on the other it. side of this. Thankfully, it's walking away from us. And it's so annoyed at that Drake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they do not like Drake. Oh, I mean... They're not fans. Drake's done a lot of things to be annoyed at him for. Yeah. <laughs> They, they kept getting a busy signal when they would call the nighttime mine. <laughs> oh, Brian. <laughs> yep. Some might say my jokes are unholy. Yes. Oh, they've got holes in them. <laughs> That, that, that too, yes. Oh, went too far. Well, I think I'm going to head out early so I can get some dishes done and other chores that, since there's no one else here to do them, I must be the one to do them. <laughs> okay, Miss Productivity. Did that tree just fall? Yeah, I guess or? it's my yeah, activity. I mean, dishes. The troll knocked it. Done, but, or the yeah. golem, rather. Hey, not, <laughs> not having a messy house is very productive. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Where am I at with all this? Oh, the Drake has now gone mano a mano. Nice. Level with the uh, golem. Fortunately, there's trees, so let's see if they can even hit each other. They are going to their own corners. Nope, and the back. Oh, and the golem punched him. He got all the Drake. Nice. Didn't take him out, but he's the golem's doing their best. That was when I first learned that you could get the drakes with a hand-to-hand -hand weapon. 
Ooh, yep, took out the Drake. Mike yep. Tyson them. KO'd in the first round. Mm-hmm. Two punches and that's it. <laughs> if I had also took out half these trees. Hey, at least the Drake's a two punch, Sally. This is why I always wear one piece of wolf clothing. Yep. You never know when you need to go where it's cold. Yep. Now what's the now what's the clothing to always not worry about being burned alive? That's the we haven't made that gear yet. That's the cultist gear. Yeah. Can't remember what what it's do they have? What's the what? Do they have a cultist cape? I can't remember. I think so. Isn't, isn't that where you get that really cool red cape from? Yeah, I think so. Oh, dang it. I hate doing the caves, so I, I, I know very little about the cultist here. Shot. Where do you go? Oh, you're getting shot. Where are you, asshole? Does anybody no, he's, know? He's gone. He should be. He should fall doomed. There you Does go. Does anybody know if we hit the random number generator and actually have a? Government, or are we still? <laughs> uh, Joe said that they um, adjourned again. Yep. He has lost 11 consecutive ballots. There he is. <laughs> right behind you. Uh, yep. Hey, Tom, you ready? <sighs> 11 times he's lost. 11 times. You know, I'm just waiting for, what is it, nine? If nine Republicans get bored and don't show up, then uh, Hakeem Jeffries will win. And that would just be hilarious. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> that's all it takes. Like, Precious they beyond. either don't show up or jump ship and vote for him directly. That would be like a miracle right there. Yeah. What's that, Tom? <laughs> <clears throat> I have learned in my life never to underestimate the laziness of a Congress critter. So the <laughs> idea of nine of them just not showing up. Also, I think because oh, they were going through the rules the other day, and I think if nine just of them out. do show up but vote present, because of the way the rules are actually structured, those votes aren't counted and thus actually take away from the number that you need to hit or something. I need heal. I need bread. I got a piece of bread for Step you. Up. Awesome. Oh, uh, really? Stupid dream. I mean, Granted, I know that this means that we're going to be starting the third Great Depression this summer, but Let's see that. the the technical on paper reason they are saying out loud they're doing all this is because they don't want to vote to like raise the the debt ceiling and want to force oh. the government to be. And want to be able to force the government to default on all of its debt payments. Yeah, that that would definitely start another Great Depression. Because yes, it would. That's dumb. So, isn't that what they always do whenever a um, Democrat's in charge? Yeah. Everything they can to tank the economy. 
So I would start storing up canned goods now. Do you get that piece of bread? In this worst, weird reverse Game of Thrones scenario we're living through, this summer appears to be dark and full of terrors. I forgot to watch for the ads because I went over to watch the real time. We 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 have ads now. I will be right back. I've got too much stuff on me. That's one of the things I should do while I'm on. Well, I have, oh, I have an egg. Everything else is practice and perfect my lola. Yeah. Roly poly egg. Oh, eggs in the bully. I caught an egg in the pit, pit trap. An <laughs> egg. It's not a wolf. Uh, no, no, it's not. I feel like you're in a place where you might lose a game of knifey spoony. Yes, I would definitely lose a game of knifey spoony. Get some more glass material. Right. I gotta move the portal up to the top. Oh, if you can, yes, please, because it's nighttime and it's gonna get hopefully with wolves soon. You said you've got bread on you. I should have tossed a piece of bread on you. Oh, I didn't catch it. I got another piece of bread. I can give you. Okay. I'll leave the cloud berries there then. Okay. Oops, you were moving the portal. I went through the wrong one. I should have looked. At the name. <laughs> this game carrying me off. You probably need to finish building this one. Like, what are you doing? Walls. I went through the wrong portal, and we haven't finished building the walls on this one. So, Deskidos can just attack you if you go through the portal. You are confusing. Yeah. See, this one was dark. How dare you do all this interesting stuff while there's an ad going on? <laughs> I do. Like, well, oh, I should have brought the wood back. That would have been scary. I feel like that means like the next the words out of our mouth once the ad is over needs to be. And that's why it pays to be a subscriber. Yeah. I feel like I should take all my clothes off and be like, oh, no, another naked Viking run. Could you believe that happened? But be vague and leave out what that happened is. What is that off in the distance? Uh-oh. Usually that's the start of a phrase of death. That's <laughs> glowing at night. Both, both white and Agnes. red. Things. Oh, that's Agnes. Ah. That is the um, yeah, freak eggs. I stepped inside. I stepped inside. <laughs> it hasn't been off for like two minutes now, lol. <laughs> That's really funny because according to the 
According to Twitch itself, the ads just ended. Twitch, why do you not know what you're doing? <laughs> Watch out, Tom. There's an angry Drake running around looking to attack yeah. something. It's mad at me because I went inside and I put a roof up. <laughs> Got a roof, dummy. Na 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 na. Boop. Not a very good roof, but it's a roof. All right. You good up here? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going back to the Lexus or? Yeah. Cool. I figured you'd be fine, you know, to do your own wolf you taming. Wanna, you don't want to play in the two star hunt. Well, right now you gotta we gotta run around as bait and find a two star wolf. Yeah, I figured that's what you're good at. I'll leave you to it. Yeah. I mean, if we're gonna be technical, he kind of needs one of us to be there with him because he's really good at getting one of us eaten. So I feel like if one of us just stood on top of the trap and he walked around blindly. It, the wolves would attack us and leave him alone. So, so we need you to pull aggro. I'm not saying this because I'm not trying to support Charlie's theory, but actually, it would be easiest with one more, just because you could sit in the middle and you could collapse the bridge, one side of the bridge, and the two star wolf would fall in. But, actually, uh, I think what you're missing in all of this is that the wolves would go after us and leave you alone. Like that, yeah, that's how this yeah. actually works. Yeah. Oh, Tommy startled the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Well, because the hardest part is going out and trying to find them. Uh, sitting here and waiting for them to come by is a little bit easier. Because if they come by, you, what you have to do is just have your have the tool out and just collapse. Hmm. And if you want to make it even... Oh, shit. Did I get the thing? Okay. If you want to make it even more interesting for yourself while you do that, here, I'll put down... I'll need you to move. There we go. You can climb up a ladder, and they won't be able to just hit you right away. And you more easily collapse the bridge from up on the ladder. Would you like a perch, an actual platform to stand on? No, I figured this is enough for my Birdman impression. So I knew yeah, I was to step back for me to put the perch up. So I knew I was going to like the tech support who came to the house today when he was asking questions about our internet setup and everything, trying to figure out what was wrong. And he was like, What are you using to actually use the internet? And I pointed at the Apple TV. I was like, Okay. And then I pointed at the computer, and he's like, what kind of computer is that? It's a Windows computer. And he made this sound that if you hang out with enough tech support people, you, you know the sound of, dear God, Microsoft, why are you? <laughs> Just That's uh, beautiful. It's such a beautiful sound. Like what, Once you've heard it, you can never unhear it. I know that sound well. I make that sound a lot. Here, wolfie, wolfie, wolfie. It's what I think about whenever I hear Carrie talking about, you know, lag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I should just remote into that computer and just fix it. Or, you know, I could just send Carrie my um, how to fix how to fix ninety percent of computer problems for Windows. No, it's an all-purpose, you know, you don't have to be a tech. Just literally follow these steps. And if it's a Windows <laughs> computer, it probably will run fine once you finish. This is probably where I die again. Hey, Tom, I never did get that bread. You want to come back and I'll talk? Well, uh, yeah, if you just turn around. Don't trick Tom into dying. Okay.
I hear a wolf. There you go. Thank you. You're right in time. I hear a drink. I see a drink, and I hear a wolf. That's how that got me last time, because it was Drake plus wolf. Drake dead. Now, where's that wolf? I can always do my favorite way of pulling aggro. I'll just shoot arrows out randomly. Oh, I am a terrible person. Go for it. If you want. What did you do, Charlie? Oh, he said Drake dead, and all I could think was, I guess you've got all the energy. <laughs> That, that is a reference to a Drake song called, oddly enough, Energy. That made me laugh. Mainly because I heard it in, like, Drake's voice. Like, ah, oh, you got all my energy. So for that whiny Drake, Drake voice. Yeah. Skeleton. Although I did enjoy when um on Instagram I follow like what was it celeb comment or something? And I think it was Drake that like commented when um oh I can't what was the name of that actor and I saw the you can't die on it. You're the the reason you got to keep getting kids in this world. No star. Well, get the no star in the in here. Maybe no star be smart. I'm trying to get it into the trap, Brian. That's what I'm doing. Because when they start howling, it'll call others in. I gotta get this rock out of the way. He keeps getting hung up on the rock. Are you seriously trying to push an angry wolf? Yes. I pushed lots of things with my shield. Oops. Bounced back the wrong way. See, it bounces back. If I can get him near the edge, he'll bounce in. <laughs> that ah. cool. Why don't you just go fall into the pit and the wolf will follow? Mm. Go ahead and collapse that that one piece. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yep, in. There we go. Okay. Oh, I didn't grab any meat. Okay. I'm going to get some meat. No. Because it should start howling, and anything in the area should start coming in. Yeah. Because that's the biggest problem with the wolves is they start howling, and the other wolves come to help free them. You still in there? It's another golem. There you go. Howl for me. Probably should have made the pit a little bit bigger, but. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. There we go. Now they can run onto it. Mm-hmm. I might need to actually make a little more. So this way I can block 
while I'm over top of it. Yeah. Okay. And then you can collapse it underneath, hopefully just them and not me. Because <laughs> getting dropped into the pit with the two star would be wonderful. It would be something. I'll be right back. Let me get some meat. Call for your friends. Don't you have any friends? I tell you, you're one of those loner wolves. Might be a night oh, wolf. the emo of the wolf world. <laughs> emo of the wolf world. <laughs> emo of the wolf. Oh. Mean. You know, he starts singing some My Chemical Romance and see if he sings along. <laughs> then we'll, it's the only way to know for sure. It tells me a lot of wolves will sing along to My Chemical Romance. <laughs> you know, that and Panic like, at the Disco. It just feels like a thing that's true. I'm going to take a moment to go work the Lexus. I feel so that. weird, though, that they now reference, you know, like the the in knowledge for uh, emo is to know that there was emo before Fall Out Boy. Yeah. And I'm just like... You're kidding. You think emo people think emo star with Fall Out Boy? That's well, I mean, in fairness, early emo has very tenuous connections to later emo. Hmm. True. Because it was just hardcore f music about your feelings. Yeah, it's a lot more punk. Yeah. <laughs> Spence says so much panic, very little disco. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I loved. Oh, they, no, sorry, that is Fall Out Boy. I don't know their cover of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody kind of brings the, all the disco the Queen never had. I feel like the underappreciated emo slash the controversial take is um, Bowling for Soup is emo. I always thought they were. I did too, but apparently. <clears throat> they are considered real emo. Oh, okay. Because I was like, damn, like they, they whine. And he's still go like they are still going. It is, weird. it is weird seeing 45, 50 year old emo band that you're just like, your kids are going to college now. There are quite a few bands that I am just like shocked at our soul thing. Because every now and then I'll be going through, what are the new albums that just came out? And I will see them, and it's just like, wait, what? Are you still a thing? How, how are you still a thing? Somebody needs to explain this to me. There was no drugs. And there's orthodontia bills for the kids. Same reason why actors still act in their 50s. And definitely it's the only explanation for why Whoopi Goldberg did so many movies in the 90s. True. She paid for like so many of her nieces and nephews' um, dental work. Wine for me more. Wine. Do they have cheese in this game? Uh, no. Like, no effects, just released a new album. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. I was trying to remember who it was. Yeah. Was just, no effects has a new album out. Seether has a new album out. And Whoa. Like, I didn't even know they still existed. I thought one of them or two of them, you know, had drug problems that. They didn't like, get through. I'm always shocked that Nickelback is still a thing when they release a new album, and they just did. I feel that Nickelback like should not be made fun of for the same reason as Celine Dion. Between the two of them, they between Celine Dion and Nickelback, that is half of Canada's you know tax income, and they actually pay their taxes. 
I mean, you're not wrong in there. But but please, radio stations, no more playing. <laughs> I have to hear I have to hear him talk one more time about his photograph. I'm just gonna lose it. Oh, Versus, I loved one that apparently Glory had never heard. Um, what was it? <clears throat> um, it's that one about the uh, the guy sleeping with the girl in her in his car, and her dad shows up. Well, the issue that I have with Nickelback is every time I see this new Nickelback album out, I'm like, oh, I guess Michael Bay's got a new movie coming out. Because I just feel like their entire existence is to give like that one song for that, you know, that one quintessential Michael Bay scene that he uh, always seems to use a Nickelback song. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, okay. You have a point there. Also, I am I thought it was something relatively recent. Like I got tired of Michael Bay, but then I you know found out Michael Bay directed Bad Boys 2, and it's like, nope, didn't like that one either. Ah, uh, bad boys. One of the messiest breakups of my life. Yeah, Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolfie. Does not anyone want to hunt me? I am but a widow, poor bird. What, oh, one thing they do still have on HBO Max, though, is the uh, Sylvester and Tweety Mysteries, where they condense famous mystery books into 20 minutes or less. Which I have to admit, it's really relaxing and I enjoy. <laughs> I have <coughs> always been so frustrated with how poorly Warner Brothers has loved it, leveraged its cartoons. And now just it's going to get worse. Yeah. Because not even like going into the fact that the DC cartoons are the best of DC. That's because there's no executive notes. They can mm. just actually make this product they want. And that's thanks to Steven Spielberg. But like they have so many like great original characters. Like Yeah. How we've gone so long without a truly brilliant Bugs Bunny movie, I do not understand. Because Bugs Bunny is the patron saint of the modern internet. Like, the relationship between Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd is Twitter before Twitter was Twitter. Well, I mean, the only reason we got the Rescue Rangers thing was, you know, one guy going, I got an idea, and he wrote the script, and he happened to have the connections, because they weren't interested. I hate how much I liked the Rescue Rangers. It's not like a great change your life kind of movie, but it was extremely entertaining. I mean, it was a good, you know, spiritual successor slash, you know, soft reboot of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Just that and when all the Rogan characters end up in the same place at the same time. Yeah, yeah, that one was especially. <laughs> I didn't know I wanted to see this, but I'm surprisingly you know I wanted to see this. Right? It's kind of like having to watch um, uh, what's his name, Seth MacFarlane, have to act against himself. Oh, Seth MacFarlane, I have so many complicated feelings about you because you are responsible for Family Guy and curses upon you and your children for that. But you're also responsible for the Orville. And blessings upon you and, and your, 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 your children for that. For that. <laughs> so it kind of cancels each other out a little bit. And but the then Orville I remember. Did prove to Paramount that people still want TNG type sci fi. We'd like right? some hope. We're tired of the gritty, the gritty dark. Just everybody remember, act surprised when Deanna Troy dies in Picard season three.
Yarp. The Drake had to go under the perch to try to line up. Why are you so bad at calling your friends? Because Brian's bad about it and got the one unpopular woof. Seriously, like is... one loom woof. You're supposed is to get a popular the one, Brian. Slurping and saying well actually. <laughs> It keeps the internet in a box. It's better than a bunch of tubes. So, so conf- now, you know, it's like so conflicted. I can't find it. Because it was so a great show. Parts of that show. He's a terrible person. He is. So terrible. Though he has been re- relatively entertaining lately because he got his Twitter account back. And you realize how unloved and unemployed he is because he's been tweeting like once every four to five minutes, every four to five minutes, occasionally maybe taking an hour sleep. I'm 40, man. What do we name this Lux? We've got happy and lucky. Go. And all of a sudden, you just realize like, why his wife left him. No kidding. See, so you're this obsessive and hateful that you're just sending out hate tweets every four to five minutes with like very little sleep in between. All day, every day. Don't come back. And you don't understand why people don't want to be around you. They don't think it's a great mystery, sir. Look, I'm going to leave this wolf because there ain't nothing going on. Um, okay. I understand. Well, you ran off to do other things. Reading luxes. Like they kind of do that on their own if you listen to their own devices. But but Brian likes pushing their butts together. Yeah, see. Likes to watch what? them rise up on each other. Oh my. Your life would have been so different if you grew up on a farm. Got him. You mean as Brian practices what can and cannot be bred together? <laughs> and what is possible to hybrid and what's just, it's never going to happen. I mean, he would have one eye and one foot because he would have lost the eye to a chicken and a foot to a pig. But oh, I figured Brian probably at some point would have tried to breed a frickin'. <laughs> yeah. I would. <sighs> it's like they're not even in the, they're not even close. I mean, he did try to turn his brother into a Smurf. I did. <laughs> it was. It's a little in blue. Just happened to be Grumpy Smurf, that's all. Oh, the Loxes here are doing some weird stuff. Yeah. You want to see something inappropriate? Oh, you mean what Brian's doing right now? No, what I'm looking at. Um, that that's not right. What? Bound, chicka, bound, bound. I mean, I'm not sure exactly how what fits where, but it feels like something wrong's going on. Yeah, like to the point where I'm like, is this TOS? Is, is Twitch going to attack my channel for showing this? Like, 
I just what the heck, man? What are you doing over there? Like, and of course, in every trio, there's always the one that's bored. <laughs> you laugh because you know I'm right. Oh no, I laugh because I was remembering. Oh, I can't remember if it was OT or uh, Plex video where they were asking the question, "Why does every hotel room come with a cu with a cuckold chair?" Oh God! Because there's always the one chair over on the side of the room facing the bed. Mm -hmm. But just the one. I think that was click. I think it was click. Like it, it's so naturally click that if it was OT, I would be blaming the click. Like I blamed the click for a lot of things because it was like couldn't believe that OT said it. And I watched both their new videos today, and I can't remember which one. I can't remember which one said it, but it's not wrong. I think it was click because wasn't OT's accidental ally today? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was in the middle of watching it when I got the link for the thing, so I got to go back and finish it. I got like halfway through. I love a good accidental ally. <laughs> See what to attack. Got him. I heard it's Sasha. Like the, the theme of that video was screaming somebody screaming something it meant to be like transphobic and then there and then the, the target of that message is like well thank you and they're like wait what no <laughs> you mean like that one for um what was it philosophy tube yeah definitely one of my best favorite lines i've ever seen my favorite was and that, well, that has ever happened to me it was a while back when we were streaming and some asshat got into the chat and was like, you'll never be a real man. And I almost cried. Thank you. Because they so misunderstood all this hot mess. Mm -hmm. They accidentally said something that was like, thank you. Like, you don't realize how happy you just made me. You really get me. You really <laughs> get me. And it was so funny because they thanked them and they got really lost. And I think they thought I was being sarcastic and then they realized I wasn't. And they were just lost at that point. You're right. I'll never be a real man. No matter how much testosterone is forced into my system, it'll never happen. I've been saying this for years. Oh, where did all the... Oh, there it is. It's one of those things that makes me wish that YouTube had clips back then. Because mm. I can't remember when that... Exactly which stream that happened on, and I've done way too many to try to go back and find it. So if anybody actually has a memory that works with dates and remembers when that was, or at least even a rough time period. So I would love to have a clip of that because it just... So we watched the first two episodes of Star Wars The Bad Batch. Mm -hmm. And I do rather enjoy this show. I love that Wanda Sykes is now going to be on it as a recurring character. For so many reasons. Um, but like, when are we going to actually address the question of Omega? Because I know like a lot of people are like, is Omega a Jedi? What? 
what's so special about Omega? What what makes her special? And I'm just like, because they cloned a guy and got a girl clone. Can we have a little bit of a conversation about this? I mean, it's not impossible. It's just highly improbable. I have I have questions. Like, is is Omega like when when exactly was it clear that Omega was female? Like, was that the plan all along? Did now let's say do something to the genetics to make this happen, or? Because I feel like Omega is their safety trans character. Where right now they have plausible deniability. Mm. But if they decide to canonically backfill a character, they've kind of set her up to be that character. Because... You cloned Jingo Fett and got a lady. I mean, that is a scary thought, though, if you really think about it for a minute. I have questions. It's Lady Boba. <clears throat> yeah, everyone run. Because, well, see, the other thing that's really gives me so many questions about this is Nala Say very clearly says several times that they only made two unaltered clones. And that was Boba Fett and Omega. And apparently Boba Fett's original name when they were making the clones was Alpha. So get it? Alpha and Omega. Ha, ha, ha. But okay. That bad joke aside. Unaltered. Actually, but is female. Although that would make some sense if they just, you know, it's a lot easier if you already have eggs. To just, you know. I'm just saying, I have questions. I have so many questions. You mean, basically, what did it mean by unaltered female from Django? Uh -huh. Because I hear that and I go, oh, so at some point, Omega was like, I don't think I'm a, a boy. I think I'm a girl. And I know that's just me, like, trying to force my agenda onto this. Oh, no, I had the more, I had the more fun idea. Um, what if that means that Django is, in fact, um, XXY? Ooh. That would be interesting. Watch as they couldn't handle themselves. I'm just saying, I need this address somewhere in Canada. I have questions. It's Disney. They ain't gonna do it. I don't know. Nothing can threaten their profits in China and so many other areas. Though I have to say, I... I don't think there's anything they could do to make it unhappy because I think Bell and Cinder's relationship is one of the best queer relationships I've seen in media in a long time. And all I saw was a bunch of uh, queer reviewers complaining about it. Hmm. And I'm just like, they didn't fall into any of the bad, obnoxious lesbian tropes. It's all throughout the dialogue from the first time that you meet them. Mm -hmm. Like they were, like it's not, it's not a hidden subtle relationship. And I try to get why they're together. Like I feel like they're more of a couple than Han and Leia ever were. <laughs> like that's the one part of the, um, sequel trilogy that I was shocked that anybody had a problem with. I'm like, you're upset they're divorced? Did you not see what they considered courtship? This is not a long-term relationship builder. Uh, 
I missed it, but we're uh, 29 minutes. This is your 29 minute morning, Brian. So, Brian, what are you up to? I am creating breeding pens. And I've already got one Lux calf. Because since we didn't really get the wolves early on and the wolves have been a thing, mm -hmm. I thought, let's, let's work on well, the other army. plant. Work on the other plant, and that is making lots of Luxes. Well, they keep pushing themselves into the pit. I mean, you've seen the loxes versus most things. Like, if anything, it might be more intimidating. Yeah. It it's, is the one thing I have not seen. The the Because the wolves, you can have them follow you. Yeah. The loxes, we're going to literally have to just spread around and have them just aggro onto him. And it might and be that's the problem is we can't fun. like stage them in the place, yeah, because he will randomly spawn somewhere around the altar, yeah. So we're just gonna need enough of a blanket lux area. Hmm. Do I need to go grab you some um, flour? Mm, wood would be awesome. And we probably need to plant another crop of uh, stuff. Wheat or barley? Um, wheat. <clears throat> I grabbed 100 stack. Oh, I got two cows. Sweet. So I did grab a hundred stack and oh I grabbed more than a hundred stack. Also So you're good on wood? Oh uh, no, no. I could probably do it with another hundred. A regular wood? Yeah, regular wood. Love is in the air. Love is everywhere. Oops. I'm mixing it up. We'll bring Lucky in. Lucky's hungry. <laughs> I should say thirsty. <laughs> Oh, that's it. I could name one of them thirsty. Is that the one that keeps everyone else breeding? Yeah. The nice thing is, is it should be somewhat safe to go out here. A safe ish because I I put down some benches, sort of reclaiming the you know kind of like reclaim the other planes. Mm -hmm. Reclaiming this area. All right, two stacks of wood. Yeah. Yeah. That should work. Come on, brain, work. <coughs> and then eat. Why didn't you eat? There's food right there. There we go. Oh, yeah, I figured I'll probably need to. Oops. 
Uh, <laughs> that's cheating. They literally got up on top of each other and walked uh... out. <laughs> Yeet. That's cheap. Oh, I don't have the word to trap them back in. I went to um, that smart yesterday, and Nerf now makes a uh, small cannon that will, you know, throw uh, tennis balls for you, either thirty-five or fifty feet. Mm. And I'm looking at this thing, and all I could think, to because of its shape and the way you're supposed to hold it, is um. And all I can think is the beginning of uh, the G.I. Joe cartoon and Destro missing with the rocket. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this piece out of here. Oh, time to breed after all. Oh. I really want to rename it on Thirsty. All right, I guess I'll go try to plant some wheat. You know, if you want, um, if you want to just grab the wheat in the garden, well, we could just plant it out here. We don't have to be all fancy and go back to the other place. We don't need to process it out there. Um, well, if you're, we could, we'll, have to, <laughs> we'll either have to build a windmill or process it, you know, because it's going to be processed in windmill. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We can, if you grab the garden tool, we can just um, cultivate some some of the land and just plant it. Protect the workbench here. So after a couple mosquito strikes, I realized, ooh, I could probably box in these workbenches, create kind of a safe zone for breeding the luxes in. Well, that was a cat fail. And a half. <laughs> and make sure a little safe zone for the calves because the calves are wandering around. Mm. And we don't want them to get, get popped. Just see good girls go over and apologize to your sister for being a dumb dog. No, you can't make me. Now I gotta remember where the heck is Lux Valley. It should be right next to where the portal you came through at. Oh jeez. Is it against the house? No, that's it's Wolf and Plain South that's over there. That's oh. that Yeah, Lux sense. Valley is still in the regular area next to uh <clears throat> Yeah. Oh. Moon. Moon. That's Barley. <clears throat> I was trying to think of the name of the character from the Great North, and his name is Moon. We got barley and we got flax. Yeah, bar barley is what we want. So okay. we can plant it. How much should I grab to plant? Oh, uh, feel like a fifty stack or a hundred stack would be great. Well, I mean, they're all in hundred stacks. Um, two hundred stacks in the garden tool. Okay. Because the nice thing is, since we have all this space, it doesn't have to be extra fancy. We don't have to have a nice tight garden. Yeah. Be everywhere. Into the portal. Go into the portal. What? That sounds crazy. By the way, nine minutes. Drunk. Not ten minutes. Or dopey. Uh, 
That's true. Wait. All right, where do you think I should start? It needs to be inside the protected zone. Are you, um, Laura, are you still talking? I would go down towards... Possibly. I was wondering about that myself. No, I haven't heard, I haven't heard Glory. Glory's making bread, I think, or something. Oh, I thought I heard Glory's voice in the background. No. Where or where is the safe zone? There goes a baby. I was staring right at it when it happened. That was a sight. <laughs> oh, Charlie, did you ever see that video about um, my mom wants to know if my sister being gay is a phase? Which one? Uh, comedian's name is Gary Owen. I watched through a lot of the videos that people have put into a lot of the channels. The one about, you know, women may in the womb know if they're gay or not, but he thinks, uh, men oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When they're born. Oh, God, no, I'm never going back. God, it's in my mouth. No. Nope. There they go. Oh, oh my goodness. Hey, Tom, I'm going to level this out for you. I guess it doesn't need to be leveled out. It can just be what it is. For a minute, you freak me out because I was just like, oh my gosh, a tarp had just spawned over here. <laughs> It's nice to hear, like, your heart's still working, though. Yeah. Just had a moment. I was like, oh, God, carpet. Because you had this nice little dark circle, like a carpet. Mm. I'm just making a giant area so I don't have to deal with it. Yeah. Oh, my. 
Hmm. Hmm. Watching calf sprout. You're going to have to say that again because my brain just really did not process your words. And watching calves sprout. That's what I thought you said. Yeah, that's what I said. Spring forth. You aren't supposed to watch the birthing. Yeah, the, the birthing was a thing. Oh, wait. Are you talking about like when they go from calf to It happened again. Milk? Yeah, but I accidentally watched the birthing again. Well, I mean, if you're not careful, that's... Yeah. It's happy. Put this out on what? If you're not careful, they will definitely poop a baby on you. Yeah. It's what they do. I feel like my back has decided to play Stranger Things. Like it's all on the upside down and it doesn't know, like, am I going to hurt you or just be fine now? Maybe a little of each. Like, there is no little of each. Don't oh. forget to enjoy so much water and potassium. Oh. I, I blame the potassium for all of this. Giving you hope? No, uh, well, that too, but that plus my forced uh, mood regulation session that lasted for three days mm. has completely confused all of the muscles in my back. They don't know how to work since they don't have reference points for where things hurt. Right. Like, they just... They're like, but we're supposed to be stones. How are we supposed to operate if we can wiggle? Muscles aren't supposed to wiggle. Hey, fish. Baby luxes are so cute. Why don't they sell the plushies? You're right. I mean, I know I'm rather addicted to plushies, but still, I would buy a baby lux plushie. Why, why are you punching? I can't punch you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I like to randomly punch things. What? This is your 10 minute warning. Oh no, the baby Luxes. I want to get up here and get a Lux eye view. Will this be closer to a Drake's eye view? A Tesquito's eye view? So I need to get more wood because I mean, it would kind of be a mosquito as I view if you took quickly jumped towards uh, Tom and then ran at him with your sword out yeah. or with a knife. <sighs> like, I'm repair. a pie. I'm a pie. Now I don't know what I'm going to get you. I need to repair, and I picked up a fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy perch. I was surprised to find out recently that the whole in Alice, the Alice in Wonderland cartoon, the whole unbirthday was a um, was the two voice actors in between scenes just joking around. <clears throat> that apparently Walt overheard is like, no, put that in. That's amazing. It's great. Because that created so many things. Because I remember when I was a kid, everybody celebrated their birthday and their own birthday, even though their parents didn't recognize that. <laughs> I 
and that's with a muted mic. I could still hear that through the speakers, through the headphones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I came down here to repair. Uh, I am not enjoying this front. Here, and grab lots more wood. It's so weird. Don't forget the light salt, by the way. Don't forget the what? To also use some, have light salt as well as the potassium. Yeah. Yeah, We've got also low on calcium and magnesium to help those muscles not lock up again. Well, I I know, like this is my usual cycle with the weather. My back always gets stiff with the weather, Mm -hmm. but. These fluctuations have just really been unfriendly because we've been getting a lot of 30, 40 degree swings, like really quick swings. Oof. Yeah. And was it last night or night before last? I thought my head was going to explode because all of a sudden, like my ears were whistling from the pressure change. Hmm. Like it was just, it was so fast. <clears throat> but this is not the context I ever used the term in. I've been hearing our local weatherman saying the phrase compression wave a lot. Hmm. like 70 degrees yesterday it's gonna be 20 tonight so that's fun did you forget what you were doing again yeah I'm like, uh, which one am I going through and what am I doing again? Go through this one. I don't know, but you have five minutes in which to accomplish it. <laughs> so much. Because <clears throat> I'm in a lot of pain and there's pizza in the house. Yeah. So... It's a surprise. Pizza surprise. Pizza surprise. All right. Barley's planted. Sweet. I'm going to go to the other side of the patch here and put down another bench. I bet. I picked the thing that doesn't need. So there is a big part of me that wants to start practicing my calligraphy again since mm-hmm. the. There actually are calligraphy settings for the Remarkable. Mm. That's fun. And it's a really really good way to practice if it works. It's also really nifty because it under, I'm trying to figure out exactly how they have the magnet set up in it to do it because the marker for it is not charged so it's not like the apple pencil that has a gyroscope and stuff inside it so they had to do something with the magnet sensors yeah but it knows the angle that you're holding the they call their stylus the marker Hmm. so it knows the angle that you're holding the marker at Mm -hmm. and the amount of pressure that you're applying and so it can do it can it actually mimics an actual pencil in a way that's kind of terrifying like if you were doing shading from light to dark mm-hmm. you know like you'd learn how to do with pressure on a lead pencil like it does understands. it have 
does it have a quote unquote eraser in the other end? Uh, they have two different markers. One does, one doesn't. Because I would figure they would, um, the easiest way to tell what the angle is, is have a magnet in the opposite end as well. And so it just reads the weak and strong magnets and it can calculate by their distance. Yeah, we didn't, because I doubted that it was going to actually work. So we didn't get the, it's an upsell for the, well, actually, both of its uh, markers are upsells, but it's a bigger upsell to get the one with the eraser. Hmm. I do, but I just, I wonder if they have the, uh, they just use, have a second magnet and it notices this, the weaker field and how weak it is. It's got, it's going to be something like that because the one thing that I really liked about it is it has the fine point control of the Apple Pencil, but it doesn't have to be plugged in. Hmm. Like you never have to charge. Yeah. And, well, I mean, you have to charge the actual, you know, tablet, but not very often. But I really didn't think it was going to be able to read my handwriting. Brian can barely read my handwriting. Most humans can barely read my handwriting. Times, I can't read my handwriting. There are times. So many wolves. But the biggest advantage, which is one that I should have thought of that I didn't, is they do not sell a unit that has a backlight at all. Hmm. So I have not been staring at a bright screen for the last couple days. <laughs> and I can really tell the difference in my eyes because I've been writing on it. Mm -hmm. And my eyes are not like crazy tired like they have been. Mm. You have one minute. And then... See if I can pull this off. I doubt it. Alrighty, his brain is just standing there doing absolutely nothing. I succeeded. I do not see. Like the going to get me. See, put that up. I don't see anybody streaming to uh, right into. I will say Lance is streaming over on the Surf TV and taking the piss out of people as per usual. And bloop, bloop, bloop. Ben is on a tear this evening. I loaded the stream for just like a minute and she's I'm not gonna say she's in like a ranty place, but I did switch over right at the moment where she paused the video that they were that they were commenting on just to rant about why do all YouTube videos have to be 40 minutes long now? Who passed this law? Why? And yes, I, I feel this. So if you're interested, they're currently streaming. I don't know who else is currently streaming, but there may be some other people that are out there that are wonderful and fun to watch. I don't know what my schedule is going to look like at all because uh, 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 it's been interesting this vacation. <laughs> And it may stretch on into a second week. I don't know. I may start randomly streaming on this channel because I've been thinking about playing around with doing some earlier streams over here while playing some games. And I might load up the new enhanced portal so you can watch me die a lot. Because I'm not like the worst at that game, but I'm not the best at that game. And now it's going to be really pretty and distracting. So 
<laughs> like the heat of death. Well, then, Chris. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, well. We will see about all of that. Mm -hmm. At any rate, follow all of these wonderful people in all of the places that they are. If you head over to projectshadow.com, you can find all of them listed in my recommendations. And. Looks for Brian because Brian is basic. <laughs> Doesn't even join me on the podcast anymore. It's just terrible. Anywho, until next time, have the fun. Have the fun. Bye. Bye. Bye.